Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ara. I am a 39 year old mother of five beauty and fitness lover. I'm gonna be doing an all day wear test on this look right here, playing with the new Sicily Perfection Foundation. I've worn this about five or six times now. I pretty much have my thoughts in order. To start off, the Sicily Foundation comes in this very beautiful blush pink packaging. I have mine in the shade Zero C. The product packaging itself is a very weighty glass. It has a snap cap, feels very luxurious in the hand. There is one fluid ounce, 30 ml of product for 125 US dollars. Sicily says this is mattifying, transfer proof, high coverage foundation. Actually, it is high coverage. I, every time I've ever worn this, I built it up just a touch, but it is a very high coverage foundation. I think if you go in light handed with a sponge, you can get it to be more of a medium coverage but I really do like the high medium to full coverage that it gives. It says it's powered by the Ideal Skin Complex to improve the look of skin quality over time. I haven't worn it enough to know if it does that or not. And quite frankly, so many foundations now all say the same thing. I simply just do not believe it. Take care of your skin, eat healthy, and drink plenty of water, get plenty of sleep, and your skin will be the best it can be. Eh as it can be. By identifying the external factors that impact the quality of skin and cause irregularities and other complexion flaws. This says it hydrates the skin immediately and intensely, smooths the skin texture, illuminates the complexion. Instantly, skin texture looks smooth and refined with each application, skin appears plumped, and imperfections are less visible. Now to address those claims right away, because I will forget as the video goes on, no, I do not feel as though when I apply the foundation that my skin feels hydrated immediately. And I do not feel that my skin is plumped anytime I've ever worn it. In fact, I just feel like it gives me a very healthy matte look. And yes, I do powder my foundation. I have a, a small baby and I don't want my foundation ever transferring onto his sensitive skin. But no, I never feel like it's plump. So I just wanna address those and get them out of the way now. It does claim that it's ultra long lasting, transfer proof, and undetectable. So as far as long lasting, of the five or six times I have worn this foundation, I think this is the sixth now, this foundation has been very long lasting. I do feel that holds up to the claim. The claim that it is undetectable I think it depends on how you apply it. When I apply it with a sponge, yes, it looks way more undetectable. When I apply it with a brush, it definitely still has that, that natural skin look to it, but it still looks like makeup. I mean, it really still does look like makeup. I don't really know how to describe that. And it was comfortable for me every time I've worn this all day long. I did not have any issues in wanting to take it off and rip it off. The scent gets to me a little bit, but this scent dissipates throughout the day, unlike some others do. And as far as blurring, it's very blurring. I will say I do agree with that statement. I do feel my skin looks very blurred. I do think it does a great job of hiding my pores and my texture. I do color correct, but I feel like this foundation does a wonderful job of living up to that claim. This foundation comes in 29 shades and is suitable for multiple undertones. Mine is a cool undertone. This has cucumber extract, green lentil, buckwheat extract, burdock extract, and peony extract. And I think those all sound absolutely delightful and luxurious. And listed on the ingredients list is not coconut. Not from what I can tell. If coconut is listed on here, you probably understand ingredients far better than I do. Please update me in the comments. I do appreciate being corrected. I'm just gonna start off by priming my face with my Tatcha Liquid Silk. This one is my favorite primer. I'm gonna use it mostly in my forehead, just for my deep crevices before I use my foundation. I need this makeup to last all day and for my daughter's award ceremony. Before I go in with my foundation though, I'm gonna do a little bit of quick color correcting. I'm about to hit pan on this. That makes me really happy. It is seven in the morning. Hopefully you can see that. Today is gonna be the last day I do a wear test on my Sicily foundation. I have mine in the shade Zero C. I feel like the undertone is still just a little bit off. And this is my Sigma 
Airbrush Kabuki Brush F85. This is actually my favorite Sigma foundation brush. I've been wearing this foundation with my Danessa Myricks Moisture Balm. Today I'm gonna use it without that. I did prep my face pretty well last night when I went to bed. Cause this, the weather is still really dry and back and forth and can't make up its mind. And honestly, maybe I should have gone a shade lighter, I'm not sure, but going into warmer months, I really don't want to get a shade lighter. I'd like to be able to use it all through the summer, especially being a matte foundation. And my daughter's award ceremony for bowling is tonight around six o'clock, so I'll definitely be getting a good wear test out of this today. I wanna build that up, just a touch. I wanna bring that down my neck a little bit with the color being slightly off. I'm gonna use my damp sponge for this last little bit here. I'm gonna use my Dior Forever Skin Corrector. This is in the shade 1CR. This is my BK Beauty 109 brush. I love this brush for concealer. As per usual, I'm gonna take my Dior Forever Lavender Cushion Powder here and set my under eyes. This one is almost out. In fact, I think I'm actually gonna have to open up the other one today. My makeup is finished. This foundation has been on for about three and a half hours. I've had several things kind of get in the way and distract me. At the three and a half hour mark, my skin looks beautiful and perfected. It's not sitting in my smile lines. Yes, I used my normal Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. For my forehead's sake, I simply have to. It's looking beautifully, it's sitting beautifully, it's not breaking up around my nose yet. We're at the halfway point. It is about 12.15 in the afternoon. I've now had the foundation on since about 7.15, 7.30 this morning. It looks beautiful. So far, there's no settling into my fine lines around the corners of my eyes. This is normal for me. It doesn't matter what foundation it is. It doesn't matter what primer it is. This is normal, but it looks really good. I did use my Tatcha Liquid Silk. It still looks amazing after about five hours settling into my forehead lines. That's not uncommon. A lot of the times I take my sponge throughout the day if I'm at home and I just kind of press it back in. I won't do that today to see how it does throughout the rest of the day. It's not breaking down around my nose. It's still holding strong. It's not breaking down around my smile lines. That still looks amazing. It's now 4.30 in the afternoon. I've had this foundation on for about nine hours now. It is noticeably breaking down, especially around my eyes, around my crow's feet, settling into those areas, more so on the left eye than the right eye. My forehead is looking about the same, not too different. It is still settling into the lines of my forehead. However, not really pulling apart, not yet anyway. The oils around my T-zone, my nose especially, are starting to break through. You can see more shine, especially at the tip of my nose. My smile lines are not looking bad. They still look very flawless. My chin is not breaking down yet. I think overall after nine hours, the biggest trouble I'm having so far is my forehead and the outside corners of my eyes. Some of that could be due to my concealer. However, I think it's just pretty much my trouble areas and my fine lines. It is 10.45 at night. I have now had this on 15 hours. I had to do the math there for a minute. Okay, at 15 hours, here's where we are. A shiny nose, oils peeking through right around the T-zone, just like they always do. My forehead looks a little bit worse than it did at the halfway point. However, it is not terrible. I'm okay with it 15 hours in, looking the way it does in my forehead. Now. I don't have the best camera to really show you how it looks. Sadly, you just gonna have to take my word for it. When I say this is wearing really well in my forehead, it really is, it really, really is. My smile lines, they have not broken down. They look amazing. My chin looks 
really good. There's nothing tearing away. There's nothing tearing away here between my eyebrows, just where my little deep lines are that I refuse to get Botox for. It's just never gonna happen. I don't care that much. Maybe one day, who knows? <laughs> but the perimeter of my face always looks good because I have such dry skin and it's not going to tear away as quickly as my T-zone. So I'm not surprised that it's holding on as well as it is around my perimeter. Around my under eyes though, this is where we are having the problems. But with that said, almost every foundation gives me trouble right around here, under my eyes, with creasing if I don't powder well. Especially at like 12 hours or more, I'm gonna have that no matter what. However, because I used a liquid highlighter, I think that's contributing to the breaking down and the crepiness of it more so than it usually does. So I'm not, I'm not upset with it. To be honest with you, I don't wear foundation this long anyway, unless I'm at work, in which case then it would be, but I tend to wear things like a skin tint for work anyway. I don't really go with a full beat for work. It's never gonna happen. I don't have the time of day for it. <laughs> I do 12 hour shifts and sometimes longer, which means I'm gonna have that makeup on well over an hour before I start my shift. So taking that into consideration, this looks amazing. I do not think I would wear this over my Chanel number no. one. Yeah, I'm gonna wear it because I really like it, but my Chanel number no. one still wears better during a long day and just Overall, the finish of it is just so gorgeous, but this is right up there with it. Compared to the Christian Louboutin, this is so much nicer. I'm gonna be honest, I, I feel like this wears so much better. Now it said a luminous matte. I totally disagree. I didn't wear my Denisa Myricks balm underneath this. It was not luminous. It was more of a satin-esque finish, definitely. <laughs> Definitely not luminous, but more satin. It's more luminous looking now that my oils are peeking through, but I don't understand why these brands consider things luminous matte. They are opposites. It's not, it's not a thing. That said, I do not feel like my skin is drying out. I don't feel like it's moistened, but I don't feel like it's dry. With my skin being normal to dry, it did a very good draw very good job of a matte foundation not drying out my skin, so I'm happy with how it looks at 15 hours. I don't believe it makes my skin look more plump. That claim seems to be just a little far-fetched, but as far as like smoothing, my pores look amazing. They look very smooth. My skin and my texture looks great. They look smooth. I think this lives up to the claim. While I don't agree that it's worth $125, that's more along the lines of what are you willing to spend on foundation? Um, so with that said, I'm very happy overall with the six times I've worn this on how it wears. With this last one, I think I prefer it with the Danessa Myricks Balm just for that extra layer of moisture. But Overall, I would say this is a wonderful foundation. I don't know yet if I would repurchase it. Might have to wear it a little bit longer to kind of come up with that. Mm, I'm on the fence. That said, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you found this review helpful. I hope this answers some questions for you, especially if you are normal to dry skin. Everything on my face will be linked in the description box down below. If you click on those links, they are affiliated. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it. <laughs>